We are at the Sheldon Art Galleries and we're showing several new exhibits. This spring we're exhibiting many different styles and mediums throughout the galleries ranging from photography, realism, watercolors, and uh, very large scale sculptures. So there's something for everybody to see. The first artist I'd like to mention in our exhibits is Jason Ackman from Central Illinois. He does large scale sculptures that focuses on tension and balance, and he uses reclaimed lumber throughout most of his work. The tension in Jason's work is heightened through the low ceilings that we have in the gallery, so you become overwhelmed by the work. The next exhibit is Mel Watkins. She's from Carbondale, Illinois, and she lives near the Shawnee National Park. Her work is a series of drawings that took her three years to do, and it's the death of a tree, so you see the cycle from spring, summer, fall into winter of this tree dying. This is the first time she's exhibited it, and it's the first time she's seen it fully in the space. And we're very happy to have it here. Jerry Monteith is in the space next to Mel Watkins, and they're actually a married couple, and he's influenced by their environment as well, near Shawnee National Park. And Jerry uses a lot of natural materials in his sculptures, but what we have featured is the small fishing lure style sculptures. He calls them attractors, and they're little creatures that he's made out of the same technique of fishing lures, but they're all man-made materials. Everything's been recycled. Jamie Crayer is exhibiting with us a series of photographs as she has taken during the pandemic with her iPhone. The artist encourages visitors to pick up the photographs. They're a very small scale, kind of a large deck of cards, and this is a way for Jamie to make the work interactive and to become an everyday object rather than as something that's precious. We're also exhibiting Sheldon Helfman's series of watercolors. They're very large scale, and six of them have been done over this past year, and they're hyper-realistic. He focuses on urban settings and will not eliminate anything out of the photographs. So you have um, cracks in buildings and debris, and everything is highlighted. And with his use of complex lighting, they're beautiful and they glow from the paper. In our AT&T Youth and Emerging Artists Gallery, we have SIU Edwardsville BFA students exhibiting with us. We have six students that their work ranges from printmaking, ceramics, and watercolors. SIU Edwardsville has a very strong art department where the faculty really encourage their students to finish their work to where it's ready to be presented. In the Bellwether Gallery, we have an exhibit of Wallace Herndon Smith traveling through Europe. The exhibit features photographs that Wally took from 1950s through the 60s. He was an avid photographer and he worked directly from the photographs to create paintings. So we have oils and watercolors that range from the 50s, 60s mostly. So we have one back here that's still rather sketchy that was never quite completed and a series of photographs there next to it. Wally's work ranges from watercolors to oils, but he really shows his skills in his watercolors. They're very beautiful and they have a looseness, but still catching the light and realism within the building structures. And he learned this skill through Washington University. He enrolled in the architecture department and was there for two years, designed a few buildings, but eventually decided to pursue painting, encouraged by his wife, Kelsey. We're really excited to be showing Wallace Herndon Smith's work and all the other artists that are featured this spring. So please come down and check out the exhibits. They're up through May 7th, and you can find more information on our website at www.thesheldon.org.